Hey everyone, it's Noah, and I got a package today. If, uh, if you guys have been following the uh, recent Project North Star builds, uh, you might have noticed that this headset has a slightly different appearance. I just I don't just mean the color. Um, uh, structurally, different appearance in terms of what's on here. This is not the uh, normal leap motion controller. Um, this is a uh, the ultra leap Rigel sensor, and I've only had one of these for quite a while now. So, let's see what's in the box. Okay. Yo, oh, what a tease. <laughs> Um, rather than risking flexing anything. Oh man, that's sexy. Oh man, that is beautiful. Count them, 25 Rigel modules, and we got four of these trays. This is, um, this is a thing of beauty. Now, each of these has, um, 170 degree field of view. So this used to be called uh, the Rigel module. This is the, the Ultra Leap. Um, it was the Leap Motion Rigel module. Now under Ultra Leap branding, it is the Stereo IR170. That has these two really intense IR LEDs on either side, and then 270 degree fisheye infrared cameras um, and those have uh, uh, narrow band pass uh, infrared uh, filters in there so uh, if you didn't know how the uh, the ultra leap uh, leap motion sensors work you have these really intensely bright um, 850 nanometer uh, IR LEDs uh, that produce a very high contrast uh, image um, of, of the hands while not illuminating most of what's in the background. Um, and then you have these cameras that have these filters on them to just pick up that particular uh, wavelength of light. So that was true of the uh, previous classic uh, leap motion sensors and now um, these stereo IR uh, 170s. So, uh, yeah, um, so we have, uh, as I showed you previously, we now have a variation of the Deck X, which accommodates that, um, although this is not, this is sort of an interim solution. So. Um, we're going to post the design file for this bracket now that we do have the sensors. And uh, you can see the sensor um, just drops in right here. And uh, part of that design, you can see there's, there's sort of quite a bit of... Uh, depth here. The infrared LEDs are set back a little bit and that is so that the um, 
the LEDs are isolated horizontally from the cameras. Um, otherwise, they'll uh, wash out part of the image. Um, you can also see here that there is quite a lot of extra room in there. This was not optimized for space. This was like, let's just take the deck X uh, bracket and sort of fill in the gap where the leap motion controller was and, um, and mount the, uh, the Rigel, the stereo IR 170 uh, in there. So we are going to optimize that. Maybe we can uh, bring the, the Intel T261 further down into that space. Um, right now, we're actually working on a new version um, that will uh, that will actually uh, have pods so that you can uh, that will bundle multiple sensors together so you could put the T261 and the stereo IR170 uh, in at the same time and I need to part of why I'm being so delicate with this, or at least trying to be, <laughs> um, is that uh, these things are quite sensitive to flex. So they need to be well mounted. You can see it's this nice thick um, uh, multi-layer PCB here, but um, but even so, the, uh, the mounting really has to be uh, to, um, it has to be to a flush surface or at least an even one with respect to the mounting points uh, so that the cameras uh, stay parallel. Um, uh, yeah, so, oh, right. So there is currently um, a stereo IR170 um, um, evaluation kit on the market that has a uh, USB 3 super speed uh, connector. Um, so you might be wondering how exactly are we going to use this? Um, so we have our own little adapter board that we've made here that is compatible with the, uh, the integrator hubs that we've been putting into the North Star headsets lately. So that just pops right onto this little connector here. Boom. And now we have a ribbon cable that will connect straight into the hub in our North Star builds. And we'll start including that in new kits um, starting soon. Uh, we have a hundred of these boards uh, fabbed already, so we can, we can start shipping them. Uh, along with the Rigels, so uh, we haven't we haven't defined the kit in which these are going to be included uh, just yet. Uh, we're going to build a bunch of headsets, and we're working on defining the kit. And soon you will be able to buy Northstar kits that come with the uh, the legendary Rigel module, which, by the way, will make optimal use of. Um, Ultraleap's upcoming Gemini software, their version 5 hand tracking software, once there's a general uh, release of that. But it also works perfectly well with Orion, their, uh, the previous version of their software. So um, you don't need to worry about getting access to Gemini to be able to use Rigel. Um, the Orion software will work just fine. So. Yeah, I am. I'm very, very excited. You know what? Just, just for the sake of getting the shot, just for the hell of it. Christmas came early, as they say, although, kind of.
hit an arm and leg for this, but... <laughs> Yay, sped up time lapse shot. Oh, that is that is just a thing of beauty. <laughs> After you know, having tried in vain to negotiate with uh, Leap Motion for, uh, and, and Ultra Leap for, for a long time to uh, get our hands on these uh, after the original Project North Star design came out. Um, you know, they're finally uh, selling them in volume, and we can't wait to get them into the hands of North Star builders, um, new North Star builders and people who want to upgrade their headsets and to integrate these um, into our own new headset builds. So I've um, been waiting for this for a really, really long time. And, um, you know, I, I don't know if um, even Ultraleap has shown any... Uh, factory footage or, um, you know, maybe, maybe there are some pictures of, of them assembling and calibrating them, but I mean, this may well be the most, uh, most gradual units, uh, ever shown in one picture. Um, maybe not. I don't know what's out there, but, um, that's something. Yeah, well, so thanks for uh, joining me for, for this um, sort of uh, ecstatic experience. Um, and um, yeah, stay tuned. We're, we're going to be moving towards having our Kickstarter campaign. It isn't going to be until early 2021. And uh, I know we've been talking about a Kickstarter all year. Um, the design is coming well along, so it's going to be a better headset than we were initially talking about. And, um, and the software is, is coming along very well, too. If you want to uh, find out more about it, uh, hop on the Project North Star Discord server and join the conversation, or check out the back conversations in the channels. Um, I'm also working on sourcing a good eye tracking solution, a nice embedded eye tracking solution. Um, not so much for, um, I mean, not for use by the applications, um, but uh, for the automatic optical uh, calibration, depending on where the user's eyes are in the eye box. Um, and blah 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 it's coming along well sorry we haven't been posting more updates um we are hard at work on this um so yeah thanks again and i guess if you're watching this on youtube uh like and subscribe and stay tuned and uh yeah see you later